funnel we're going to be fabricating has a required height of 110 millimeters. It's going to be separated into two separate patterns. The top part of the funnel will have a 60 millimeter diameter and will be 60 millimeters high, tapering down to 20 millimeter base. The spout will have a top diameter of 20 millimeters, be 50 millimeters high, and taper down to a diameter of 10 millimeters. For ease during the pattern development, we will be drawing these upside down. These patterns can be drawn on an A4 sheet if you start by measuring up 40 millimeters from the base and scribing a line across. You then measure 50 millimeters in from the left hand side and draw a line all the way to the top of the page. This will be our center line. You measure 60 millimeters up from the baseline and draw a faint horizontal line. 10 millimeters either side of the vertical center line. The base of this drawing is in fact the top of the funnel which is required to have a 60 millimeter diameter so we measure 30 millimeters either side of the vertical center line. Using a rule we'll now join up those points to the center line which will make the apex point. Your two lines should meet at the same place on the center line. Set your compass to 30 millimeters. Place the point where the center line crosses the base and draw an arch. Using the same compass setting, place the point of the compass where the center line crosses through the arch and mark two small arcs on the radius. Using the same setting again, place the point of your compass on the edge of the base of your funnel and mark two small arcs again. Your semicircle at the bottom should now be equally divided into six parts. Next, set your compass from the distance from your apex point to the bottom of your funnel and draw an arch. Now set your compass from the distance from the apex point to the top of your funnel and draw another arch. Next, we're going to label each of the points on the bottom of that arch to the numbers 1 through 7. From the apex point, set your ruler and draw a line between the two radiuses. This is going to be the first point of our pattern, so we'll label it 1. Now set your compass for the distance between any two of the points which divide the semicircle at the base. Place the point at point number 1 and scribe a small arch, and then follow these points up, scribing small arches as you go along from the previous point. You will need to mark 13 of these points. Next, label each point, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then down 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Next, mark from point number 1 from the apex point, scribing a line between the two radiuses. Then, using the same apex point, mark from number 7 to the inner radius to show the halfway point of the pattern. We will use this halfway mark later on when lining up the two pieces. With the first pattern complete, we will now work towards completing the second pattern. So, scribe a line vertically as another center line on your page, measure 50 millimeters up from the baseline and draw a small line 5 millimeters either side of the center line. As the largest diameter of this part of the funnel needs to be 20 millimeters, measure 10 millimeters either side of the center line on the base. Once you have all your markings in place, again draw a line between the markings so that they intersect at the apex point. Now set your compass to 10 millimeters, and once again mark a small arch at the bottom from where the center line intersects with the baseline. Once again use the same compass setting to divide up the semicircle into six equal parts. Label each division point, numbers 1 through 7. Once again, place the point of your compass at the apex point and describe your arch for both the top and the bottom part of the funnel spout. Draw a line from the apex point between the two radii 
and mark it as point number one. Once again, set your compass to be the distance between any two of the points dividing the semicircle. Then starting at point number one on your outer radius, mark another 13 points. And again, label each of the points one through seven and then seven down to one. Line your ruler up between the apex and point number one and draw the line to complete the pattern. Again, we're gonna draw the line at point number seven to show the halfway point. Now using a pair of scissors, cut out both of the patterns, roll them up and stick them together with sellotape with the line on the outside. Once you have rolled the two pieces and stuck them so you have two small cones, we'll look at joining the pieces together. When joining the two cones together, we need to keep the seams on the opposite sides to each other. So you need to line your seam up with the middle of the pattern line that you marked on earlier. Once you have lined them up correctly and stuck them together, that is the task complete. Your complete funnel should be 110 millimeters high in total and should have a top diameter of 60 millimeters and a bottom diameter of 10 millimeters.